Hey guys, hope you are having an incredible day. As some of you know, I pick up a guy named David Goodson on Sunday mornings. He is roughly 463 pounds. He's been clean and sober for a little over two years, or he always reminds me that he is not taking anything that is illegal because it's all been prescribed. I don't know where to go with that, but we have a great time together. A couple of weeks ago when I was going to pick him up, I decided that I would stop and, and fill up the gas tank before I got there. And right when I pulled up to the, the, the fill up, I noticed a guy out of the corner of my eye, and I thought for a split second that I'll just leave. I'll just drive off. Well, he comes up to my window, and I crack the window, and he says, hey, man, you know, I, I'm from out of town. I'm out of gas, and I'm sure you guys have all experienced that before. He said, I'm out of gas, and all I need is $3. Now, this is kind of interesting because almost every person that has ever asked me for money has asked me for $3. I've been sold or tried to be sold windshield wipers in grocery store parking lot. Guess how much they were? They were $3. I've had people call me uh, before that somehow got my number from a benevolence committee or something, and how much did they need? They needed three dollars. I've always been amazed by this amount that they need. So this guy needed three bucks, and I said, "Well, I don't, I don't carry any cash whatsoever." And he said, "Well, there's an ATM machine right over here. We can go over here and get some some money out." I said, "Dude, that's that's just not gonna happen." And he said, "Well, do you have any change?" I said, "Yeah, I've got some change." I, I reached down, I grabbed just a handful of coins, and I handed those to him. And he said, "Man, I want all your change. Give me all your change." I said, dude, that's all the change I've got because I'd emptied out my little change compartment. Now, I don't know that it came with three bucks or not, but, you know, I felt like that was pretty fair. And he said, well, get your wallet out because I want to see uh, that I, I want to make sure that you don't have any, any dollars in there. I just need three dollars. I said, bro, I, I hate to tell you this, but it is time for you to step away. And I didn't know what was going to happen next. Now, I barely had my window cracked and I didn't know if he was going to come through it or what. And and luckily, you know, he went off. I filled up my gas tank and I was thinking afterwards, man, this guy was aggressive. He was aggressive. He asked for my change. He asked for all my change. He asked me to go through my wallet. He wanted, he asked me to go to the ATM machine. To get, he didn't know who I am, but there's an ATM right over here. Man, I thought that was wild. And yet, I was thinking about my own life and the number of times that I will simply ask the minimum out of myself. You know, that I'll set a goal or I, I will say that this is a dream or I'll say this is something I want to achieve and I'll go about it and I just do like the minimum. I'm not even chasing it full out, right? I just think, what have I got to do in order to get that result? In fact, I was watching a video this week where somebody said, how many reps, it's about a workout, how many reps do I have to do in order to get in X shape? And the guy on the video, I thought this was pretty strong, the guy on the video said, how dumb a question is that? Why would you ever ask how many you have to do? You've got to do as many as it takes to transform yourself. I thought, man, that's pretty true. And I thought about my buddy who was so aggressive and decided that he wanted to empty out all the change and my wallet and the ATM if that's what it took. He wasn't asking the question, what's the minimum you have? He was saying, what is it all that you have? What's all you've got? So I'm challenging myself, challenging you for us to give everything. Let's give all we've got toward our goal, toward our dream, toward that direction that we're after. Let's not hold back. Let's not just ask for the minimum out of ourselves. Let's not do minimal planning, but let's do some big planning. Does it mean that everything's going to pay off? No. Does it mean that everything's going to go right? No. Does it mean that we're not going to have some failures? No, we're going to. Does it mean that some days we're not going to be exhausted and want to give up? That doesn't mean that we're going to feel that way, right? as part of the process, as part of the dream, as part of the stretch. But here's the thing. If we're going to encounter the stop or the slowdown or the exhaustion or the wanting to quit, if we're going to experience that anyway, let's experience that while giving our all, not experience that when we're giving in the minimum. Let's get after it. Let's push it. Let's pursue it. And let's do the, the great things that we feel that we're destined or that we're called to do. Every day is not going to be ideal. Every day is not going to be perfect. But as we're pursuing the maximum instead of the minimum, we're going to achieve so much more. As always, success is not an accident. Be blessed.